I'm so excited for today's video. We're gonna be doing some garage sailing. Every year, Labor Day weekend, Columbus, Ohio has a lot of garage sales. In fact, so many that you can't nearly hit them all, but John and I are planning to go this weekend. I thought I'd take you guys with us as we go. Our plan is to set out Friday morning and probably return home Sunday afternoon. We decided to take the truck in case we you know, find furniture pieces. Um, it's always kind of loud and big to park, you know, depending on where you're at, but I think it'll be worth it to have that extra space. The drive down towards Columbus is always beautiful. It's really scenic. I've often wanted to stop at this covered bridge that I see along the route. It's just off of State Route 62. And when I mentioned it to John, he was willing to stop and take a look. So beautiful. We even took a picture in front of the Bridge of Dreams. Taking a trip like this, one of my highlights is just simply getting away from it all and just spending time with John and just you know having all kinds of different conversations about things we normally might not take the time to talk about. I'll throw some of our conversation in in the next clip. Most of you probably won't understand being that we normally speak Pennsylvania Dutch to each other. And since it takes, you know, over an hour to drive down there, uh, we of course have plenty of time to catch up. When we travel out of the area, I'm secretly always looking for that orchard house. I've mentioned it before here on my channel, but my dream would be to find a little old house that is movable and move it up into our orchard where the cottages are at. And you wouldn't believe it, guys. I think I saw it. I fell in love with this little house isn't it just adorable? Now, I'll be honest with myself, this probably won't ever happen, but it's okay to dream, right? We, of course, have no way of getting a hold of the people that would own this, and from there, you know, there's just a small, slight chance that somebody would even be willing to be rid of it, and then there's always the thing of, is it even, you know, movable? But it was a highlight for me that morning.
I, of course, wasn't able to film everything, you know, while garage sailing. It's always kind of hard when there's other people around. I don't want to be rude and just start filming people. But I did manage to get some clips, and I was really impressed with what all I found that first day. A couple of really good bargains, I thought. So Johnstown is where a lot of the garage sales are at, and that's on our way to Columbus. So we always, you know, kind of hit that area first. Ended up eating at a cute little diner there. And again, there were so many people in there. I would have loved to film some of the things that they had displayed on the wall. It was really neat. They had old retro toys and things. Those places are always really interesting and their food was excellent. The next morning after grabbing some breakfast at our motel, we were ready to set out again. Even though I wouldn't want to live in a city, I'm always kind of fascinated with city life. We saw some beautiful areas of Columbus. Some, of course, weren't as pretty, but this was a really nice area. And we always enjoy walking around, especially in the evening. The weather was beautiful the whole weekend. It was a little bit hot, but it was really nice and sunny. Uh, Sunday was no exception, and we decided to take a walk along the Scioto River. Um, it's in downtown Columbus. They have a nice area where there's you know sidewalks, and you can walk along the river and just take in all of the beautiful views. Ended up even seeing a car show on the one bridge. On the way home, we decided to grab something to eat. Again, at Johnstown, found a place called Ghost Riders Public House. I think it was an in-restaurant combination. It was really unique. They had delicious food. We ended up sitting on the outside, which I always love.
So here we are the next day out here in the shop and behind me are all of the garage sale finds. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what all we got. One of my favorite finds of the whole trip was this cement bird bath. I paid $10 for it. I felt like it was a steal and I need heavy when it comes to our raccoons that we have in our area. I thought this is probably one that they can't knock down, hopefully. I love wrought iron pieces like this, and these are two sections of fence. It's not a high or a tall fence, but it'll look really pretty in a flower bed, I'm sure. And this little cabinet here, of course, would need some paint. I'm not feeling the color, but um, it's nice and sturdy and well-made. It has two shelves in it. Pretty sure you're gonna see this in the future in a video being redone. I really like old-fashioned gates like this. At this point, I'm not even sure what I'll do with it. I just like the idea of having one in stock. Um, I paid $10 for it. I thought this little toy box bench is just adorable, or that's what the guy said they used to use it for. Toy box. This opens up for storage. Uh, this little stand I paid $5 for, and the top opens up for storage. And the drawer is working, which is always good on an old piece of furniture. I also like this little emblem that is on the front. First, when I saw this chest, I thought it would make a nice coffee table for our living room, but I think it's a little bit too big for our space, so I'll probably just end up redoing it and selling it. But it opens up for plenty of storage. I paid $15 for it. This little stand I paid 50 cents for. I couldn't believe it. It is a little rough looking, but it'll be a fun makeover to do. Pretty sure you're gonna see all of these pieces again in a future video once I get around to redoing them. Let's take a look at the smaller items. Um, these pools here were $8 for all of them. Not sure how many are in here, but a lot. I always like to have them on hand. They make lovely you know, tray holders, or sometimes I need a pool for a piece of furniture. Uh, some Milwaukee drill bits. This little chicken feeder caught my eye. I think that's what it is. Uh, the lady said she used it for M&Ms, which I thought was a good idea. I'll probably use it for a bird feeder. I know we're not quite in the Christmas season yet, but I thought this is so pretty. It has a handle. And I love to put puzzles together in the winter time, especially this kind. I hope you guys enjoyed following along as we went garage sailing. And like I mentioned before, you know, I of course wasn't able to film nearly everything, but hopefully it was enough to maybe inspire you guys to go yourself. It's so much fun. Before ending here, I have a few things I wanna mention. First of all, this past weekend, we had a booth at that Harvest Festival in Berlin, Ohio. And thank you so much to everyone who showed up. Uh, it was such a blessing. I felt so encouraged and motivated after this weekend. You guys wouldn't believe it. I could sit here for a long time and tell you guys stories of things I got to talk about with you guys. And just again, the encouragement and the motivation you gave me to continue to make videos. I'm just often you know, blown away with how many kind people are out there. So again, thank you for showing up. You don't believe what that did for me and my family. And I'll probably talk a bit more about it in next week's video. The focus will be on the Harvest Fest, like how we prepared for it and kind of the setup and everything. But I wanted to thank you in this video just for coming out and supporting us. We really appreciate it. The other thing I wanna mention is a few new products we have for the Etsy shop. And some of these we had made kind of for the Harvest Fest, but now we have a few leftovers. And one of them being these little wooden trays. Uh, these are so cute and they're made out of old barn wood. When we took this barn wood apart, it actually had square nails in it. So that kind of shows you how old it actually is. 
Uh, it's so beautiful and has so much character. And we do have some new soap available on the Etsy shop. I'm pretty excited about this. My cousin Susie made these and she did an amazing job. And it's kind of hard with making soap. You have to think way ahead because you know you have that curing time of four to six weeks. So we often find ourselves a little behind in you know, getting the soap made for the next season. And I realize we're getting into the fall season and here I'm talking about summer soap, but uh, it still smells good. Like you can use it any time of the year. In fact, right now I'm using the summer peach and it just smells amazing. It's so much fun to shower just knowing I have this good smelling soap to use. But make sure to check that out if you're all looking for some wonderful soap. Uh, the Lily of the Valley is back in stock too. And then we do have some fall cutouts, like the cute wooden cutouts available again on the Etsy shop. And you will have the option of having them plain or with words. And one of my favorites is a new product here. It's the Gingerbread Man with a cute little gingerbread bakery logo on him. I think he looks just adorable. And then our fall candles are also in stock. Right now, I can't even remember had I mentioned that on my channel, but they are back in stock. We have all kinds of wonderful scents. Um, I have an autumn leaves candle here that I burn sometimes when I'm sitting out here on the porch. There's a couple different kinds of pumpkin, uh, all kinds of different ones, mold cider. Uh, make sure to check those out if you're looking for a clean, great smelling candle. And I'll probably share more new products in next week's video because like I mentioned, you know, we had been making a lot of new product for this festival and we do have some leftover that will be available on the Etsy shop. I've also been working on some fall products for my website, one of them being the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, pretty sure I'll be wearing this in the coming months with all the descriptive fall words. There's another t-shirt that's brand new to the site that you might enjoy if you're like me and enjoy thrifting. So make sure to check that out if you're all needing some gift ideas or just something new for yourself. So as always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.